but it's a three-man stack currently for Penta as they try to push their way in through the armory wall. It's out of CCTV, and there go the Candelas from Hungary, launching him out, and he's going to rush straight through the hole that he, uh, his Ash had made. Two blind, trying to go for three. Hungary will get them all. Looking in for four. Hungary, he gets the angry! Inside of Moto, the C4 will come out to counter him, but the EMP counters the C4 in turn. Mint up close and personal with these enemies, managing to flash them, but stuck in the crossfire. It's really hard to get this engagement in his favor. He will finally take out Shala, but it's his team falling one after another, putting more pressure on Mint. Able to get two. His last teammate, though, Pojo, at the bottom of main stairs. That's three for Mint. Incredible pistol play, and he has the diffuser. Going for the plant behind Black Box. This is the perfect position for him to plant solo. Pojo's doing his best to cover, but he's going to lose the fight to Redeemer, forcing Mint into an A situation. He's going to get the 4K. He has the mirror window and the flash, and he gets it. The ace from Mint, and the round all on Blitz. What? Oh, this is not a great Ooh. position to be in. At least Pino can Ooh. land two nice shots. Hello. And now Raps going in for a kill, looking to push. And he gets punished as well. How has this happened, Jess? A five versus two has become a two versus two. Thanks to some gnarly shots from Pino. Him and Julio to hold on. Do MIBR get aggressive here? Do they take their time? And work together, Reduct is in, but the player's watching him. Pino with the 4K for Lipo is the last one left. Pino's looking for the ace, the C4, and it does it. Guys are going to be extended into kitchen. I think TSM might overextend uh, through office, and out of nowhere, Bolo's just in the site. What is going on? How was he even able to enter? Now he's got control. Hopefully, he, oh, the bomb is go the, the bomb is being planted out of nowhere. TSM making an aggressive rush and a rush plant. This might work out for TSM. Sexy King able to take down two there, but a trade out from Bolo. Now we stand at a 3v3 in the post plant scenario. Another one rotating down, but Polo will get one. Bolo with three on the round now, looking for more. It's down to the 2v2. Sexy Cake and PSK collapsing from the blue bar in the kitchen area. Trying to bring in some Yokai drones. Drones in the attacking side being sent out as well. Bolo not spotting the Yokai coming closer and closer as the Jaws music amplifies. But now in the hallway, that's four for Bolo. Will he get the ace turning the corner? Give it to him! Bolo! Let's go! Give him the ace, put it in the montage! Just all out Fnatic. They really didn't do anything. Shaiko with the first kill from somewhere, God knows, but it's gonna be Virtue. That's a big pick. Virtue helped out Tex the last time to get those first two kills that Fnatic needed to try and force sight. First minute of the round already oh, gone no. away. That's that's gross. Well, go off successfully, however. And in the meantime, Shaiko still holding the skylight angle. Magnet will finally strike for Fnatic, though, picking up the first, but Shaiko's there to strike right back. Knocking out Tex and still waiting for that peak to come in for Mentalist again at the skylight. Shaiko! What? What? With a double! That might have been a collateral. Taking out Magnet and Lusty, and now looking for the last one. He gets it as well. It's an ace from Shaiko! No one's in sight! Eminem, where are you? Nello's elsewhere upstairs, but they're in sight and able to put the plant down. Fantasy a little bit panicked here, expecting that he might get swung on at any time. And the thing is, I'd love to just see him hold down F. Let the boys do the fighting for you, and you guys can worry about getting this plant down. A good trade coming in here as Tyron saves his teammate. The plant is down, but it's a 1v5. Great idea, but not quite the best execution from Furia. Not at all. Now in a 1 versus 4, Ossa just trying to play in behind those shields, but Eminem just needs to push at the same time here and they should oh be able boy. to secure the kill, but here goes oh Fantasy. No, no. We know how good he is. Surely not a first round ace. He's gone in. He's done this all no. along and finds Fantasy. the final kill. 4D defense is hot and cold. Takes a lot of damage and the plant goes down. In the meantime, a piece of utility will be used though to at least relocate him. And now Joystick needs to be ready with the cover. Volt is going for the rotation underneath. Hot and cold is down. Puts them into a four versus one. Suddenly it sprays around on the strategy table, but it's Volt off the backside in a post plant. Can't quite get the catch on Dan. He's holding the sliver over the top of the box, but in this retake now with an entire study lockdown and control, it becomes a very tricky entrance. Prefires his way through the door, gets behind a sturdier door, but still, there's three people that you've got to open. The first and the oh, no second. Way. All right, the side, a quad kill and 20 seconds on the board. He's going to see if he can play it. Dan's going to have to Stick go for the swing. Rabbit got it's him! The ace! Fault sends it into space itself! Redeem the dream on the coach? Yeah, dude, that's pretty sweet. Of course, he'll be working with Reaper. Oh, ay ay ay! That's a triple Ooh. for Cameraman on the red stairs. Going big for his team. And oh. a fourth! Cameraman looking for the yes. ace! And he gets it! What an ace! All from the same spot! 
can't change this uh, situation. Pushes into bathroom. Gets one, and a second. Diffuser down. Canadian could win this round if he gets the third, and he does! A beautiful three-piece for Canadian. Doodle and Slash, the last one's alive. Canadian lit up by Doodle in the sight. Position known, and it's gonna be hard for him to win this. Nice shot there, but it's a pixel peak, and he cannot land the final kill. Slash heard above. He repositions, and oh! Doodle goes down! It's the quad from Canadian! Only one more for Canadian to win this outward. Yeah, and he gets the diffuser. Slash Hug in the site now. He will be able to plant, but this has been called out. Canadian is well aware of this situation. Slash fakes the plant and then repositions to the hallway, to expecting Canadian to rotate. Thanks to the drone, he knows that that's not the case anymore. Canadian repositioning into workshop. There's only eight seconds left. Slash has to go for the kill now! Canadian's gonna be able to win this if he just plays it on time! And he's gonna do exactly oh! that! Canadian! An absolutely rock solid, insane clutch based on time and positioning, and he will put his team back in this map. <laughs> oh my god! That they do. Oh my lord, Gatorado, what are you doing? Peeking the red hat, she's taken out JJ, he's given Cyclops another look back in the round. And to your point, the time. Around that minute mark, still no vertical control in through to reading obtained by Guts. Cyclops still have this vertical control, Manic. The thing is, it's not... I mean, uh, we've seen it done without vertical control, but there's a lot more that ends up being taken. I really like this from Anantan right now. If Aegator can stay alive for half a second longer, even injured, it may have been enough. However, Gatorada and Anatan now, they need to combine here. They haven't been able to drone oh. out Gatorada. This is massive! Lines them all oh. up, Gatorada! What on earth is that? You have dismantled guts! What a sickening round! Starting to now try and apply the pressure onto Piano itself. However, they have to contest this Min. I'm not sure they know he's here. Oh. Min is going to peek out and kill the Thermite. That's Cookies. Now looks like Mint does see the other one. T-Marks as well oh, is very aware smoke. of it. He is stuck in the smoke. He's going to try to duke on over here. Mint's going to go for the shot. He gets another kill right on a T-Marks. That gas grenade was a perfect coordination. <laughs> a Mint. triple kill here by Mint. Dropping yellow for the count. He's going to go for another. Can he get down? Oh. He can. Can he get the ace? He's going here for Mint. Yes, he gains it. Mint. Mint's going to get the ace here. Huge difference maker in keeping that intel alive outside. And there goes the first pick now. Looks like it's Nello taking down one of the members of Wildcard. Looking for the bullet holes. Nello will get one though as Derpe peeks on up, but everyone's stacking by the vase, awaiting the approach for Nello. No utility left. Diffuser in hand and a 1v3 in the midst of a crossfire. Gets one on a diesel and a second one on Amaran. Nello! Are you kidding me? The 1v4! Já desceu. Será que vai conseguir eliminação? Consegue belo trabalho. Eliminação em cima do jogador. Quase tenta uma double kill. Olha o Nesk. Double kill pra ele. Vai partir terceiro. Triple kill. 4K do Nesk. Impressionante. O que que tá acontecendo, Retalha? Revolt sozinho. Será que ele consegue levar? Mais uma situação complicada pra ele. Tem o um pixel melhor. O Nesk. Consegue o um clutch espetacular. O um clutch que pode garantir. Strike back as he was hopping out the window. Mint is all that's left here now for DZ. Nice oh, wow. response on the cry. Gotta find four more of those. That's gonna be the problem, including one as he hops out right here. Hasn't noticed the player on the right. Amazing he didn't get killed on the cross. Whoever's there for Parallax missed it. But either way, still a 1v4, still a very unwinnable situation here for Mint. He peeks it. Oh, oh, this is no. picking players. Oh, oh no! no! Mint, you cannot do this! He's got easy access to Jim now. He can plan in Jim. Mint, you get the ace, I'm going crazy. A little bit of drone work now. 30 seconds left to go. Might not seem like enough time for him, but that is all Mint needs. Go ahead and make this clutch happen. I wonder if the buddy system is going to work out for Parallax Gaming because Glamoji under Jaeger is going to have the most firepower on this defending side. But he only has a slither of HP. But turn his corner. Oh, no, he can do it. He's able to get the quad kill and the ace. Mint able to clutch it out in a 1v5. Only four remaining here between Thinking Nate and Canadian. That's a very difficult thing about TSM is, uh, or excuse me, SSG, is if you give them time, they're able to get a lot done with the map, whether it be cutoffs or the rotations back to side or what have you. But it seems that TSM's the uh, first to the punch, but Canadian firing back immediately. We're on equal footing walking into the last minute here, which could possibly be our last round unless SSG has something to say.
say about it. They're trying to clear out the lobby area now, but remember, the site is double bar. Bolo with a huge kill here onto Bosco. That's going to remove the Capital. We'll smoke grenades now for Chala, and he's so good on time. Only 10 seconds remaining. They each take 10 seconds off. Canadian's still outside, though, as he now has blue bar control, but he could get fragged out if Bolo swings at the proper time, but he's playing patiently. They need to get this diffuser kit down. They're all hopping inside. This could be it. Fultz with a big kill. It's all down to Bolo, the man, the myth, the legend. Can he possibly do it? He has the hot mark. Bolo, you have to be able to get the last kill. Can he do it? He does. <laughs> Bolo with the ace in the very last round sends SSG home. Even though we had a limited OT on map number one, it wasn't the fastest. There you go, joystick. Oh, okay. How does he do it? Kanto, Rakeni, and Gogafall. This is a huge breath of fresh air for Empire. Empire's timing much better in this round so far, but it's going to get a little bit worse as Scyther gets picked off by Pengu. It's a good job to Pengu to bring it back somewhat, though not entirely. Joystick got that kill on his very final bullet. So a bit of good luck and good aim on his side of things. There's another for Joystick, trying his best to outdo Kanto Ricchetti in the previous round. Additionally, one of the first kills for Team Empire came onto the Hard Breacher. How about a fourth? Takes down Fabian, all right, oh! oh! And an ace! What the hell, Joystick? The impression that Furia arms really well uh, shepherded around at the moment here, and that's demonstrated there by Fantasy. Finding two, how does he pick the second? What is going on? Ints, they're just throwing bodies at him, and he is hitting every single shot. Fancy had no business finding one, let alone three of those kills. Finally, Four? but finally, is he going to find this ace? Five? He's going to have fancy to deal with, and we've already seen what he's capable of today. Is he going to find himself too? Yes, he is locking onto heads like it's nothing. The diffuser down as well. The lion scam roots him in place, but he takes out Hornet Tower as well. Oh How God. does he know he's there? It can't be back-to-back -back aces in back-to-back -back rounds. Fancy is thirsting after this next one. He's just decided, you know what? I'm going to go. Everyone else is, no diffuser. one else is allowed. No one else is allowed to get this kill. Fancy has to land it, and he will. He gets a second ace back to back aces, Geo. We have never seen this before. Invigible, just sitting inside. Invigible. Uh, just waiting for somebody. The invigible man. If I can if I can quote the Russian badger there, if I believe he uh Was that one of, he used that as the title. I am not I can't see you on that I can't side. say I'm I'm clever enough now. But Adam is still just there. He doesn't even need to use his ability. So I mean, Vigil's ability it would be counterproductive. He would be giving it away. And he's yeah, just sitting and waiting, and Adam is taking a tactical timeout all by himself. This is going to potentially be a huge boon uh -oh. for SK. But yeah. this is also this is if they don't find where he is, this is also a situation where this might only happen one time and then you can't do it again. Yeah, I was about to say after this, this will you will almost never see you won't see this in Pro League, aside from today. And if you do, it will likely be shut down swiftly. Because I guarantee you everyone's gonna see that spot and go, oh, you can do that? Okay, well you can't do that anymore. It's just it's just not an option. So SK really pulling out all the stops. Here comes the flank jarp, or Adam will get DC. That's the lion gone. Huge kill there. No more EE1Ds for EG. Now he's gonna situate himself on that front door, waiting for the push. And here comes Young looking for that frag. But the shots will land for Adam as he gets his second on this flank. Now evil geniuses are in trouble as they start to Attackers push into the, the site. Bomb. And Adam a third! Canadian goes down. Adam looking to go all the way. He's gonna drop into Moto and get a better position. The fourth for Adam! He only needs one more to ace. It's only Necrox against the world here with 20 seconds. As he moves his way over to the Moto drop down, Adam, he's just waiting and he will see those smokes come out and force that pressure. Necrox though gonna be able to see through the smoke. He might be able to shut down this ace potential. He gets one, but Adam, the ace! Kazi, as the garage is opened up ever so slightly. Valk has got a C4 in hand. Why is she not tossing the C4 at this stage? She's going to put shots in and miss both, but she is going to pick up the kill onto Iblax as he peeks over. C4 toss going to come out from Julio. Not going to hit its mark. Hugzor there, yinging into the site. Psycho does eventually pick up a C4 kill, but not before Panko takes out Julio and Psycho getting another one onto Panico. So, two versus one. It's all down to Psycho to deny this plant or get two kills and get the diffuse off because the plant is going to go down. I'm not sure if the attackers are aware of where Psycho is playing currently, but Bucky's holding a very tight angle, but peak his advantage there. Psycho is able to pick up that kill on Tugslord, narrowly missing out on the kill on two Ions. Ions gets the... Psycho gets the kill onto Ions and that is it. Did he fall? He... 
he must have fell. He must have fell off the roof. Meanwhile, engagement's happening here, and NJR will get the lead off, technically speaking. They can continue to abuse that, but you also have to get the execute off. And Hungry sees oh. that, loses oh. the fight to NJR. Case is in the hands of Kayak. He's above, so he'll have to drop, and that could potentially be damning. He drops. NJR gets a, a oh. quad for NJR. The only one left is Virtue from above. What? And the ace to seal the deal as DZ takes it 7-2. About 15 seconds left in the round now when it's going to be an all-out brawl. As it's going to be Sexy Kick, he finds two. He rushes right in through red. He'll find another one possibly under the pulse, but no, Neptunes actually takes down one on the Palu before getting traded out. It's now a 2v2 now. And then Sexy Kick, he's trying to cover this plant with a 4K on the round. He's looking for the ace, but with the reload happening, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to find it. But it's a post-plant situation here for Super on about 1 HP. Trying to win this out, but it's an ace for Sexy Kick. So Mark work being made there by Mark probably earlier in the round, but he's playing by Sandwich, waiting to hold this down. And no, no, Orglis doesn't clear out Sandwich. And two for Mark, a third! Insane gunplay from Mark, and he gets a fourth of the down on Yeti. He doesn't know it yet, but he has a potential 4K waiting for him to claim if he just gets a little bit aggressive. It might have been called out by his team, and he will make that push happen. Brian now the last alive, and Mark goes for it with the pistol out! Will he get it? Oh, yes! Drones through windows. G2 playing the same really heavy roam game. A cheeky run out from Uno. Picks up a kill onto Neskin. Second time that he's, well, caught them unsuspecting at the start of a round is the way I'd describe it. Down goes the Lion. Goes down a second. It's all fell apart. But Alamo goes, don't worry, Des. I'm still alive. There's two kills for me. It's a three versus two. Can he pull it all the way back? Or what they are heading into. Lagornis, he gets himself into position to be able to put that diffuser down if the opportunity presents itself, which right now it seems now to. Wait. We've got Uno downstairs. Surely he's aware that ah. this is happening, Des. Surely. Alamo on the cover. He gets Citizen Des. It's two versus two. Diffuser is activated. How on earth have they managed to get away with this one? They had a pulse, for God's sake. You would have known he was coming in for this, but Alabama's done it all! It's an ace all the way through. We said it the two kills. Can he bring it back? C4 on the Kaide. Kaide himself can electrify the hatches, and Kino on the smoke and spirits. It pays off because the roam and not being able to see by the drones means an early picking for him onto STK on the finger. Exet really have lived and died off of these individual performances and other for spirits. He's inside a stock trading and down another player from Furia goes. Fantasy, who'd been so hot, removed. And these are two huge operators gone. Zofia and Finca. The LMGs on both of those operators gone. Those are bullet hoses out of action. Adrenal surges out of action. Stuns gone. You don't have the names Ooh. either. And Spirits is just on a tear. What? They're collapsing on him. And he's got he the FG five. Five for the ace. <laughs> and a flawless one at that. What the hell did we just witness? Operator for the attacking lineup right now, considering the fact there is no echo on the board. Cyberdan picks up Tinking Nate. Is going to be changing things up. Sees who four comes in right there, but he won't be able to pick one up. He is going to get oh. the fragment to Bosco down. Gets oh. the triple. Cyber will be uh, single handedly almost dismantling. The lights right there is a quad of Cyber. On one HP, now on the chase, up to Feltz, and he will get it as well, it's the ace of Cyber! Grenade that's thrown under the top of Yellow Stairs, mid guns down Kendrew though, so the smoke is doing a great job of just persevering, and your singular hard breacher for Na'Vi is now gone. There's also a dock, which means the damage that Mint has just suffered can be healed up if Dark Zero so chooses. They're gonna have to position Hyper so that he can actually do that. It's not necessarily easy when Mint is at the top of Yellow Stairs and there's a reinforced wall to the bathroom. You can see they reinforced that wall because they're worried about Pi on this bathroom repel. Pi can do a lot from here. What? Nell's planting! He's in CEO! Where's the denial? Dark Zero, you need to play on your site! Navi, a plant in a four versus five, and the guns are gonna start coming alive here for both teams in the post plant as Dark Zero realize their mistakes. Pi will shut down Nyx and another from that bathroom repel. And that's going to be a third there for Pi. Mint answers with a quad kill. Oh boy, Pi and Mint both absolutely insane, but no reload from Mint. He needed to be patient and he rushed it. He jumped the gun and now the opportunity is missed, but another presents itself. There might not be time though, as Mint goes back to the site. He certainly won't be able to disable the diffuser. What a round from Navi. What a try from Mint, an ace on a loss.